So as you can see, we're getting a call here. This is a queue call, as you can see on my ECC. So I'm going to answer this. And you can see that the call is live on my ECC client here. We've got the call duration is counting up and we see information about this call. We see the caller ID. You'd also see the person's name if they're broadcasting that as part of their caller ID. You see the queue that they came into as well as information associated with that queue. Because the call came through Shortel, you're also seeing it here on your Connect client. I'm just making this a little smaller so you can see these two things are happening at the same time. So here on my Connect client, you also see the call control tile. Once again, the number's counting up, the call duration is counting up. It's a little bit longer here than here because of course Jason called in and hit the auto attendant and made his selection. So the Connect client is counting all of that time, whereas the ECC contact center client is counting just the time that he's been on the phone with me. So in this particular case, I want to make sure you understand the difference between call control within your ECC client and your Connect client. So let's imagine in this case that Jason has called into the queue and he has a question about his invoice. Jason, of course, is not going to be able to be helped by anybody within the contact center because you don't have any accounting people in your contact center. So if we were to hit the transfer button here within the ECC client, you hit the transfer button, this little icon. And once again, as we've seen in other videos, you see only agents also logged into the queues within the contact center. So in this case, Jason's question about his invoice, this is not going to help us. So if you click over to your connect client at this point, and then you click on your call control tile here. You click the same button, the transfer button, and you type in Kimberly's name, Kimberly who is in accounting. Now you have access to transfer this call to her. It's a queue call, as you can see right over here. But the person you need to send it to is not part of ECC. And so you use your connect client to find the right person. And then now that you know you want to send this call to Kimberly at extension 179, you have the option to either transfer the call directly to her, which will simply drop this call with Jason right to her, or you can consult with Kimberly, let her know that Jason Bo is on the line and that he has a question about his invoice.